10% to you just right off the gate. So, yeah, both of these characters are really disgusting. Okay, well, there we see the fireball conversion. Charlie's taking a quick 40 damage. That was quick. Oh, my God, dude. That was like five seconds. Okay, and that uh, up tilt. Basically an up smash for Wall. Oh, my God. Okay, ricocheting him off of that platform. Taking a quick second. There's that dash attack you were talking about. But like, like I was saying, you know, up B recovery, going to be able to clip the ledge. Yeah. Didn't really do much to, to Wolf. Okay, nice. Man, that down tilt. Man, so much carry just off of that one little down tilt at 70%. On oh, no. Yeah, that up smash got a bit of a nerf, uh, a little bit to its iframes and a, a much more so to its uh, front hitbox. You definitely want to be turning that around and hitting with the back of the noggin for Mario. Same with Luigi, too. Up throw into down air. Classic bread and butters for Mario, especially like when he has rage. It would be a little bit harder for him to do those you know, high damage combos. Yeah, it's a really good uh, little conversion. And up, uh, down, ooh! Yeah, forward smash, that lagless forward smash. It only does like minus 10 on shield. That's better than some tilts. Yeah, Wolf is disgusting. Nice. Down throw into back air. Back air. Mario's back air is actually disgusting. And not as disgusting as Wolf's though. We see double dash attack coming out. And you can see Charlie setting up for back air. Oh, I think you go for a down smash at the ledge. Nice. That was a tipper. It looked like it was kind of late though. Okay, shield in the back air, and I like how Charlie the King uh, repositioned himself to get into the center and pushing Mario essentially into the corner. Yeah, and stage control is really important in this game. It really determines how much room uh, the quote advantaged player has to work with. Mm -hmm. Whereas the the person who's stuck at the ledge really has you know very very small amount of stage. Yeah, yeah. The further you are, the less options you have. Okay, nice side B. I like that. Just like I said, I'm really impressed with how uh, Charlie is just able to get himself into the center as often as he can. Yeah. I want to see Master Mario be able to land on the ground. And now that he has his feet planted, how is he going to try and ledge trap Charlie the King? Mm. Oh, throwing out double back air, trying to catch Charlie in the mix-up. He's really been opting for those back airs. He might be conditioning uh, just to see what Charlie is doing because it looks like Charlie's been shielding a lot. So if both of these players are aware, maybe Charlie already knows that Master Mario is trying to condition him. Well, Master Mario was able to pick up a throw as uh, Charlie put a dash or an F tilt onto Master Mario's shield. Now landing his feet back on the ground only to get narrowed off the stage once again. Master Mario making it back. Yeah, trying to get that forward tilt to two frame with him. Ooh, okay, that's going to take him out. Yeah, answering with the back air, back throw of his own. Man, I am loving this right now. Okay, getting those fireballs. I like it. Very accurate as well. Back airs. So disgusting. And then he gets the forward air. Wow, dude. <laughs> and you know, like, seriously, uh, Charlie was playing that really well. Charlie was playing that really well. And then he just got he got hit by just one too many fireballs. And then uh, the okay. Toadstool Master put yeah. him to sleep. It, I mean, that's just how good of a combo game that Mass Mario has. And Mario in general has, just has a great combo game. Oh, yeah. Master Mario being the wild card of SoCal. Oh, yeah. This guy you never know when he's going to pull the trigger. And right there, able to convert off double back air, sliding off the ledge, getting that cancel yeah. to a forward air. If anyone thinks Mario is not a good character, he would be sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. All right, we're going to go run it back. Okay, starting with Kalos, or game two going to Kalos. Mm. I don't know about this pick from Charlie because it's going to allow Master Mario to really set up shop on those platforms if he decides to. Yeah, I, I'm not too sure about a Wolf's aerial speed, but Wolf has really slow run speed, but whatever, dude. You just get that, uh, that down smash, the uh, <coughs> quote unquote nerf down smash. Yeah, taking him out pretty early. What is that, like 90, but still. Okay. Up throw into up air. Ooh, getting a couple up airs. Uh, yeah, Charlie was DIing in. There we go. And then he started to adjust his combo there. Got basically the same setup. Uh, that was good adaptation from Asamaru. Okay, forward tilt. Forward tilt. So good. You're able to angle it. It's a really sweet little, uh, little move there. Nice. Once more. Okay. And this is kind of nice, too, um, because both of these characters have wall jumps. So Kalos having a wall, that's... That's pretty useful, I'd say. Yeah, it's going to allow them to uh, help them with their recovery, let them stall, and give them an extra mix-up. Mm. 
Okay. Got that grab. Where are we at? I'm trying to get that back air. Both of these players are opting for the back airs at the <laughs> in the ledge trapping options. Okay. Oh, good parry into down tilt. Okay. <gasps> oh, you know, <laughs> I thought he was going to go for the grab, but that is so much better. Getting that forward smash, charging it up, and just holding it. Yeah, calling out the air dodge or the spot dodge from Charlie. Oh, there we go. Catching with that back air. All right, I like what I see here. Man, just trading blows here, and uh, the disjoints are definitely working it out. Mario yeah. hates disjoints. And every trade that both these players take uh, is actually going to go in favor of Charlie King because Charlie's up at full stock. Yeah, definitely. I got to say, though, that range, that range difference is a big one. Oh, good reset. Naring to grab. <laughs> trying to read some type of... Uh, Full hop or double jump from Charlie, trying to get him with the forward air. Oh, yeah, getting these conditions. We're not going to see, yeah, I was going to say, we're not going to see an up B. Yeah, down air will take you out pretty fairly well. Okay, with 110%, SMR is going to need some good combos. Yeah, we've seen him do it. I mean, he, he took Charlie the King from zero and just killed him uh, last game, so you never know. And that get up attack doing 11. Yeah, get up attacks really hurt your shields now, too. Get it back. Out the ledge. F tilt not going to clip. Ooh, yeah, Charlie was trying to call out with that up tilt as well. That oh. might have killed. I like the what Master Mario was going for there. He threw in an up air, knowing that if, uh, depending on which way Master Charlie the King had been sent, he might have been able to reset off that platform and just go for, like, big damage. Mm. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to see a grab there on that platform. Oh, he went for the roll read, and he did get it, but... Not able to really convert or punish. I suppose it's better than getting grabbed. Hey. Okay, getting that cape. Yeah, send it back. I gotta want it. Send it back, please. Back to the kitchen, tell the chef I'm not happy. Ooh, good from that grab. And now at this point, oh, it's a damn. Yeah, back dang. throw. On to game three. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. You know, I. There's something about this matchup that I just really enjoy watching. Like, they both have fairly... I, like, Wolf's got the disjoint, and I think he has better range, but it's, it's not like he's got, like, such a crazy advantage over Mario. It's just like, right. I love how close up these guys have to get to each other to, right. to make things pop. Yeah, but, it, you know, it's Mass Mario who really has to be the one that is careful with his approaches. Big time. Yeah, especially like when you do consider the reflector, which we haven't really seen a whole lot of. And I'm really wondering if Charlie the King even considers that like worth his time because Master Mario doesn't really, you know, throw it out that often. In fact, Mario's been the one using his reflector more uh, than Charlie has. Which I totally understand because that laser, whew, oh boy, just completely stops you in your tracks. Can't crouch under it. Ooh, and I think that's the first Wolf Flash setup that we've seen from Charlie in this set. Yeah, it's true. How uncharacteristic. He's usually uh, pretty gung-ho about that. Okay. Well, that might just be the respect that he's giving Master Mario. Now that we're here on Smashville, we might see it come out a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a stage where, like I was saying before, these guys are just going to go into each other's faces. Ooh, that was a sweet up tilt. Wow, really understanding just how far that goes. And that does penetrate the platform, so good to know. Oh, and that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that jab lock. Yeah, but of course. Oh, Ooh. stopping out the jump with the fireball. Get sniped. Yeah, he got super sniped there. Just like, you know what? You can cape me all you want. I'm going to keep shooting this gun at you, boy. There's that reflector. Okay. And look at that. Just that one little reflector was able to gain him the entire neutral back. And I think Master Mario buffered a back air there a bit unintentionally. Okay, good down air. Yeah, getting that cross up. Oh, my God. That's hard to DI because Master Mario, uh, he has that, that aerial mobility. Yeah, good drift back from Charlie the King. He knows that Master Mario looking for those forward airs. But, oh, up throw into down air. Now Charlie the King forced to recover. That was such a good setup for Master Mario. Oh, my God. He had that. He, he planned that like yesterday. As soon as he sent him back with that downer, he was able to hit him with the back air. It's just, ooh. Yeah, you know, revealed his trap card. Yeah, he did. You know, he activated the trap card. How many more do we have before we send someone to the Shadow Realm? Well, 
we see another dunk, I mean, that, that might be it for Charlie Soul. Might be. Put him in the box. Maybe. <gasps> oh, stopping that up smash with the up air of his own. That was sick. Trying to cross up, but you know what? Didn't get the cross up, still got the grab anyway. Mm, I think Charlie is showing a little too much respect. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you whiff that first one or you get that first one block punished. It's a wrap. Okay, up air connecting and now. Mass Mario getting another grab. We're gonna back throw this time. There's that water. But not gonna work. Yeah, that water really does come into effect for sure. Is that a death? I don't think so. Yeah, barely making that. Even with the rage. And Charlie is not really. Yeah. What? Yeah, man. What? That up smash is cray. Up smash is dumb. Yeah, dude. You're totally right. <laughs> I, I I noticed that um Charlie has not really been able to make a whole lot work at the ledge there. Like he's constantly trying to get the forward tilts, but he's not really getting much reward off of it. So like, I wonder how he's gonna change that. Well, he could just change characters. I know he still plays Fox. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Fox does not let you land at all. That's definitely a threatening character that I don't see enough of. I'm like, I know Fox is hard to play, but I'm just oh, kind of, so hard. yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of shocked. I don't see enough. I don't see more Fox. We got Eon out here uh, playing Fox, but he's not here today. Yes, Eon, the grown cub. Oh yes. All right, going back to Smashville. All right, I like what I see. Pretty easy damage here. Yeah, he's trying to call out uh, jumps from Master Mario. Definitely feeling himself here. Okay, that Nair into dash attack. Pretty pretty reliable, easy to convert into. <laughs> Mario's not jumping. Charlie's really trying to catch these jumps and Mario's just not having it. He jumped right there and converted off his up throw. Mm. Oh, turning Charlie around and now getting a couple up airs into an up B. That was an interesting mix-up. Yeah, it was. And he finally <laughs> he finally jumped onto the platform. He's like, ah, gotcha. Oh, okay, okay. I like that directional air dodge. We haven't seen Charlie the King really offer that. Okay. That was interesting. He got the forward air knowing that he was negative on hit at this percentage, and he just kind of went into the shield. Still got punished with a grab, but it was good awareness. Oh, there that is. Why did he roll, and how did he know he was going to do it? And that's just those hard reads that you get on your opponent. And you guys you just have to trust your gut when you get one of them. Yeah, big time. He could have just gone under and just, you know, up aired him, but nope. Caught him. All right, there we go. Okay, doing some different things at the ledge here. And now Charlie the King starting to get a little bit of uh, fruit out of his labor. Yeah, but it's not over for Master Mario just yet. Mm. See the damage starting to. Here it comes. Ooh, okay, getting the, the sour spot there, but you know damage is damage, and uh, Master Mario definitely still has the stage advantage here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? No, we shield those. We punish those on block. Oh, expecting the roll, Master Mario reading. Trying to let end that stock with an F smash. Now retaking stage control, and the ledge traps continue for Master Mario. Yeah, Master Mario, I think, has been a lot more successful with his, uh, his ledge game than uh, Charlie the King has. I mean, he's been getting some pretty good kills with that down smash, but... Uh, Master Mario's just been getting more pokes, and he's been getting more consistent damage, I think. And you can see it, Charlie the King losing another stock because he's F-tilting Master Mario's shield. Master Mario knows the distance on that up smash, and he's really taking advantage of it. Yeah, really. And that's and that's kind of hard to, to really work with, too, because Mas uh, Mario doesn't really have the craziest range on the block, so it's like sometimes you just have to hold the fact that uh, Wolf forward smash just happened, you know, even if you block it. Good, good cross up. I like that. Okay, forward air into up air, double up air, trying to get reset on the platform, but Master Mario able to escape. Mm. Good forward tilt. Okay, are we gonna see another down smash? Oh, <sighs> landing in front of Charlie. Charlie was not expecting that. I, I love how Charlie was just using his movement to force options out of Master Mario. Just not afraid of any offense from Master Mario on, on his way back, because we've seen. Yep. Ah, caught that up smish. What are you doing up there? You saw Charlie King throwing out three up smashes in a row. Why would you continue trying to cross up with up air? Yep. Who knows, man? And what's going on in that mind, Master Mario? Lots of up smashes Wild on platforms. Hard Master Mario. Yep. I just wanted you to take this game so I could make you feel good, so I could crush you in the next game. 
pretty All sure right. that's not what he's thinking. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. All right, we got the friendly fist bump. Yeah, these guys are no strangers to each other. Oh, Yoshi's no. Island. Everyone, what is this? everyone loves Yoshi's Island. Yoshi. Yoshi. We're gonna see Master Mario die at 50. <laughs> so possible. <laughs> it's so possible. We got the walls back too. Oh no! It's happening. <laughs> He's already at 64. Oh god, ah, it's happening! Ah, <laughs> you called it! You called it! That zero to death. Why would you go to this thing? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, jab him up, man. You gotta, you gotta do something to redeem yourself, boy. You gotta do something, man. Look at just how safe Charlie's playing. He's throwing out airs, spacing his forward airs just in case Master Mario wants to come in. He even drifts back when Master Mario's at the ledge. Right? Oh, getting the down throw into down smash. He's trying to take another early stock. You know, I still want to see him enough throwing out another down smash. Wait, right here. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, he's changing it. Oh wait, my wait God. For it. It. Okay, yes, okay, yeah, we thought. We thought. Yeah, that. Oh man, he's even able to catch people with like down tilt from behind. He's still going for the up smashes on the platform. What's wrong with you? Okay, yeah, like you said, he's playing so safe. Look at that, he's just throwing out the back airs, mixing it up. He knows he has such a huge lead that there's no reason for him to play unsafe, even pairing into up smash. He's not going to be quick enough to actually punish, but still Charlie maintaining his advantage. Yeah, and I like when he did, uh, he's just going back onto that platform. He's oh just God. <laughs> trying to bait him onto the platform there. Okay, yeah, stopping him, stopping his little fireball game. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, but let's see if he loses his stock for that. <gasps> oh, I don't know if that down tilt was intentional, especially on this stage because it's like you can't. It's so hard to two frame on this stage. Oh, so, oh, he didn't even save him. That's he didn't even save him. He's killed him. Oh no! All right, well, three stocks to Master Mario's last one, fighting for his winner's side tournament life and his opportunity to advance into winners finals. Oh, using the wall jump has been helping Charlie the King get back to stage just a little bit. Yeah, kind of stalling that recovery a little bit. Okay, that's Master Mario jump. He's going to go off. No, no dare. But a down smash. Good. Oh, oh, that could have. Oh, that that would have been game. Mm. Oh, man. Charlie's doing some little dancing around the ledge there. Okay, yeah. He's like, I'm so tired of that up smash. I'm not letting it happen. I'm going to poke your shield. Ooh, right. Get over here. Lay off the C-stick a little bit, Charlie. We need my heart. <laughs> yes. Taking that. Got a forward smash of his own. A little disjoint on that, uh, that flame coming out of his palm. Okay, good use in there. Yeah. Covered a few options at the ledge. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. I, I'm, I'm starting to see uh, Master Mario change it up a little bit. He's still catching that forward tilt. Okay, okay, okay. We're making it back. Oh, is he going to be able to make it back? <gasps> yeah, no, he, he was dead anyway. He was dead anyway. Wow, wow dude. Uh, I blame Yoshis. You know, I think everyone wants to blame Yoshis at this point. And, I mean, really? It's so hard to two-frame. It's doable. But it's hard to do. I mean, I think dash attack for, uh, for Master Mario would probably work. But uh, yeah, man. That I got. Was rough. I know. I know he just lost, but I gotta ask him. I got. I just gotta 